You know, for years now, I've been watching Milton Berle on television. And during that time, he's brought us many memorable scenes. One of my favorites is a playlet he presented a few seasons back, in which he appeared with Tallulah Bankhead and Frank Sinatra. And so tonight, we thought it would be appropriate to bring it back to you. Now, it's called September Song, and it's a tender love story about people in the theater. It takes place in one of those little summer resort towns that come to life in the spring and dies with the end of September, when the tourists leave and the population dwindles from a couple of thousand to less than a hundred. The summer theater closes down, and the little band of players move on, except for one or two who don't quite know where they go from here. Coffee, ma'am. Uh, oh, thank you. When did the ticket window open? It doesn't. It closes on September 15th. But you can buy a ticket on the bus. When do they run? Well, the next one goes through here for New York in about two minutes. I don't want to go to New York. Huh? A two-hour wait for the one to Hartford. Hartford's just as good a place as any, I guess. You have been in here before? <laughs> this is one place I missed. Seen you someplace. Weren't you with a stock company here? Yeah, that's right, huh? Yeah. You look awful familiar. How come you're leaving uh, this late? The rest of the troop left a long time ago. Maybe the rest of them had someplace to go. I never did see any of the shows, but I saw your picture in some of the posters. Really familiar to me, too. Say, weren't you in the movies once? Oh, you've got a good memory. <laughs> of course. Joan Lansing, I remember you. I, I bet you I saw every picture you ever made. Why did you quit? People forgot to buy tickets. Oh. They must have been crazy. You were the best ever, oh, believe thank me. Thank you. <laughs> Whatever happened to that fellow you married? Just, uh... I was never married. Sure, you know, the, the, the comic, the... Fred Burton? We were never married. Oh, uh, I didn't know. What ever happened to him? Maybe he died, laughing at his own jokes. Freddie Burton. Gee, time sure does fly, doesn't it? You think so? Here's the southbound now. Okay, wise guy, this is as far as you go. Hi, Dad. Hi, Joe. What's the matter? Yeah, this wise guy flags me down on the highway. Now he tells me he can't pay his fare. Got a good mind to call the sheriff. Take it easy. Give the guy a break. Well, uh, any passengers? He's going the other way. Okay, I'll shove off then. So long, guys. So long, Joe. See you on the way back. Hey, pal. So now to relax. Help yourself to a donut if you like. All right. It's all right, it's on me. Pardon me, miss, would you mind passing the sugar? Joan. Joan. Betty. What are you doing here? Well, I was, uh, um, I was staying here for a while in summer stock. Joan Lansing? In this tank town? Theater, isn't it? I'm an actress. So they tell me. Honey, when I didn't hear any more about you, I thought... You thought what? I thought you married some other guy and got out of the business. No, Freddie. I didn't marry anybody. Not even you. But, Joan, you were the one that walked out. How did you know? Did you read in the papers? How could you tell in the crowd? Joan, I, I... Were we ever alone all the years I knew you? You think I wanted to spend the rest of my life surrounded by your stooges? Laughing up your jokes while you picked up the check? Did we ever have one moment alone, together alone, just you and I? No. <laughs> no. Even when you remembered to kiss me, it was on cue. And then you took a bow. Oh, I... I'm sorry, Freddie. I guess 
I didn't know how much that was on my chest until I got it off. How was it? Oh. I'm all right, baby. Great, great. N n never better, never uh, better. What brings you to town like this? Huh? Well, I, uh, you know, I got, I got a summer home up here in Cape Cod. And, uh, I was driving back to New York in my convertible. And some argument out here with a bus driver. I'm tired of lying, honey. Broke. Broke? Freddie Burton broke? Saw how I got here. I got thrown off the bus because I couldn't pay my fare. I got thrown out of a burl I showed in Boston because every time I went on, I drove people away from theater. What happened, Freddie? What happened what to you? What do you think happened? When you walked out, I, I said to myself, forget it. Laugh it up. Forget it. Big shot, Freddie. And one day, I missed you so much, I, I wanted to scream. Yeah, it wasn't funny anymore, Joan. It wasn't funny anymore. They stopped laughing. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the donut. Oh. Gotta start. Getting my thumb ready again. Bye, honey. Stay healthy. Just a minute, Mr. Burton. Are you gonna let him go? Why shouldn't I? What makes you think she can stop? Take it easy, funny man. Give me a second. Let go, man. Now, just a second. I can go to the phone and call the sheriff. You're a vagrant, you know. What's the matter with you two, anyway? What do you think you're doing? Was it so much fun breaking up last time that you can't wait to do it again? You look like you had a lot of fun, the two of you. Joan, honey, he's right. You're telling the girl wanted to go. Freddie! Joan. Freddie. Oh. Oh. Honey, I... I'd like to... I'd like to be with you again, but... I... I'm washed up. I'm washed up. You'll never be washed up. You're the greatest funny man that ever lived, just so... Think I could do it again? Maybe we both can do it again. But this time, Freddy, just the two of us, huh? Got a lot of years to make up, honey. Uh, I stopped counting. <laughs> Whatever years there are left, I'll, I'll try to make them good. Thank you, buddy. You know, if you hadn't have been here, I'd have blown this bit, too. <laughs> you're, you're a real John J. Anthony. Sure, I'm an expert at straightening people out. Say, you know, there's no waiting period in marriages in this state. The courthouse is right up the road. What's your name? Gus. Thank you very much, Gus. You got nothing to thank me for. You don't know how fortunate you are. What's your name? Uh-huh. Living here in a nice small town. Sane and safe. Surrounded by your friends and your family. We'll never forget that we were lucky enough to meet here. With someone like you around. Just too bad you weren't you weren't in my corner. And I needed you quite right a few years. Bless you. That's me, Mr. Fixit. Real bright boy. You give me Western Union. Western Union. I'd like to send a telegram to Mrs. Gus Coletti. No, two T's. Yeah. Just say, uh, coming to join you, first plane I can get. Please don't do anything till I get there. I love you. Signed it, Gus. The address? The Mapes Hotel, Reno, Nevada. Thank you, Tallulah Bankhead, Frank Sinatra, and Milton Berg. 
Incidentally, for those of you with color sets, if the scene you just saw appeared to be in black and white, it was because it was on film.